Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Now, before we dip into level 1 4, we're gonna head into Funky's Flying By. And you might notice that things are a little different with my lives and my banana coins. I had a little bit of a jostling of save files that I wasn't super happy with, so I kind of went and played through where I was up to this point, so no worries. I'm actually gonna go ahead and rebuy. Five new figurines. So you can see those now. They're obviously going to be different than the ones I bought in the previous one. Those don't exist anymore. So consider this a pseudo different timeline. But that's okay. Also bought a crash guard for vehicles. Can't imagine why I'd want that. We're going to find out potentially in this episode. So let's go ahead and trudge our way all the way back up. This episode is going to be full of energy, some chaos, but I'm going to try to keep things from going off the rails, if you know what I'm saying. Let's go ahead and bring the crash guard with us. almost forgot what it was called literally right after I bought it. So here's level one for the trunk twister. How do we feel about getting our trunks twisted, everybody? Do we like that? Does that provide happiness for us? Cranky seems to be enjoying it. Rolling Donkey Kong all around. Good old Cranky, who we uh, are going to say bye to in favor of Diddy. So to be completely transparent, the companion you choose for this level, I guess, is kind of irrelevant. So whoever you're into, you can choose. It's not going to really make a lick of difference. So don't worry about it. But you do need to worry about. Oops. Oops is getting yourselves all those bananas in 30 seconds in the barrel blasting mini game. Collect yourself a puzzle piece. This is one of the easier puzzle pieces that we'll encounter today. This level might give you a little bit of PTSD. I apologize if it does. If you've played the original Donkey Kongs, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. We're gonna learn about some important lessons today. We're gonna try to collect all the puzzle pieces and Kong letters, of course, as per usual. But first, we'll smash into that cargo crate. That's fun, right? So today's lesson that we're going to learn here in the not so distant future is ABD. And you'll wonder what that means. So I'll explain what ABD is here in a moment. ABD followed by no ABJ. You're gonna say, D-Mike, what's with all the acronyms? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just trying to keep things fresh. This channel is all about teachable moments, of course. Okay, so two crashes. You gotta be a little bit earlier when you're jumping on those things. We'll get it eventually, right? I wanted to do things in one kind of clean sweep, but then I forgot that it's me playing. So, hopefully you guys are patient for my misgivings here. I'm doing my best, I promise. You might think to yourself, that does not mean a lot. And you would be right. So we're going to try this. Hopefully third time is the charm. This is one of those levels that you're going to definitely want to rehearse a few times if you can. Definitely helps. Nope. We have goofed, so we will sacrifice. I bought that crash card. I haven't even had a reason to use it yet. Cause I just can't figure out the timing of these gosh dang dragonflies. Don't worry. Is this on purpose? Is it for show? Or is it ineptitude? I'll leave that to you viewers. You can decide that for yourselves. Whatever you're into. I don't want to create narratives for you. I want you to decide. Is it Hollywood magic? Or am I just an idiot? We'll find out. Hopefully four times a charm. This looks good, and it is. Hopefully that felt good for all of you as well. So we're gonna learn about ABJ in this episode. And ABD. So ABD, right here, always be ducking. That's a good idea. You don't wanna get your head whomped on by some fire propellers. Nobody likes that. That is a no bueno for anybody. 
But there's also the second lesson of today, which is no ABJ. So we've learned already to always be ducking. That's a great idea. But there's gonna be certain instances where you would think in a game all about jumping, that jumping is a good idea. However, it's not. So there's your first taste of the no ABJ. Don't always be jumping. Not necessary. Not always the best for you. But always be ducking. Because you never know when a crashed plane will be thrust into your face. And you don't want that. Here's another example of don't always be jumping. So you're welcome for that. There's the crash guard. So that's pretty neat. You can take three hits before you take any damage. Pretty helpful. This shot of Donkey Kong is actually one of my favorites. I love the look of him and Diddy. They look like Muppets. Very funny. So we're almost done here. And you can use the crash guard to your advantage right there. You won't have to take any actual damage. It'll take the damage for you now. You'll be thinking to yourself, okay, I need to finish this level. I need to hit that bonus barrel. But do not, because there's one last puzzle piece to end your day. So make sure you stick around for that. Get yourself the bonus of whatever it is. In this case, it's bananas. The one time it was alive, which is nice, but that's not always going to happen. So we were able to do that on our first try. That was amazing. Really enjoyed that. Going through that minecart level. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that too. It's very fun. And that actually opens up the boss. So if you want to go right to the boss, you can do that. But first, we've unlocked 1B because of our secret shenanigans. And our current destination, 1A, the zipline shrine. So with Diddy and Toe, we're going to go and explore some treetops. You guys ever been ziplining? It's pretty fun. Kind of terrifying if you're afraid of heights. I enjoy it. There was this cool mid-forest ziplining area where I grew up and that was kind of fun to try out. I believe that was a Christmas gift I received as a child. So that's a lot of fun. Keep in mind, this is a bonus level, so it will have a little bit more difficulty than perhaps your average Joe Schmo level, which is okay. But the game is kind, and it invites you to use Dixie, which, for all intents and purposes, is my companion of preference. I like Dixie better than the other two. There's nothing wrong with Cranky or with Diddy, but it's just my personal preference. Dixie seems to be the one that gives me the most, of an, most advantage. Now this one's kind of tricky. You'll be tempted to use that zip line. But if you do, don't forget to come down here underneath, hit that little trap door, grab yourself that puzzle piece. As my controllers disconnect, don't you love that? Okay. So we're back. You might be saying to yourself, oh, D Mike, you're not using your pro controller. Well, that's because I don't know where it is. So, hooray! I have a hunch, but that would involve having to move and go get it. And, eh, just don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So with this Benangel, you're going to want to try to get all the bananas here. Collect them all. If I could. Doing really poorly at it. But doing so gets you a banana coin. It is kind of annoying that there are moments in a level like this where you'll be playing and you'll think to yourself, okay, those Benangels are, you know, pretty innocuous. They don't really offer anything. But you might be wrong. Those Benangels themselves, and even these little banana-shaped collectothons, can result in a puzzle piece. You do have to be careful. Make sure you're paying attention, minding your P's and Q's. You wouldn't want things to turn into a bit of a banana split, but that's okay. So here's another Benangel. This level in particular loves Benangels, so just be ready for that. There's quite a few. I mean, the intro thing kind of unlocked like a temple of Benangels. So I'm assuming that's kind of the aesthetic, the theme of this level they're going for. Plenty of bananas as well. So if you need to get caught up on lives, or if you weren't happy with how you played the game and you wanted to reset entirely and 
you know, have to play through every level that you've already done so far. You could do that. I don't know anybody that would have done that. That would be insanity. But anyway, we're having a good time. We'll learn how to use zip lines. Swinging on some ropes. I saw, though, at the store. I don't know if this is a thing that's, like, for everyone. Or maybe it's just special to my area. But I saw that there are now Sweetheart's ropes. So I don't know if that's just like a chewy, kind of Laffy Taffy version of a Sweetheart. Instead of just being the the regular kind of crunchy candy variety. But I thought about that a little bit. And I thought I remembered, you know, at some point in my life, there being a chewy Laffy Taffy sweet tart than that already existed. So are they just trying to fool the average person by buying more sweet tarts candy because of the shape? Are we being geometrically oppressed? I don't know. But so far so good. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. I'm having a lot of fun playing Donkey Kong. Seems like the views are indicative that it's a series that people seem to be gravitating towards so far. I really appreciate all the support and views, so keep following along. I'm gonna keep making some stellar Donkey Kong Country Topical Freeze content for all yous, lads and ladies, and everybody in between. So here's a little bit of a tricky barrel blast. You gotta make sure that you time it right. Get that puzzle piece that's hanging out there in the middle. This level does Love its barrels, but not as much as some of the other levels. There are some levels in this game that go a little overboard. I don't know what the collectible was right there. I didn't see it, but they go a little bit overboard with with the barrels. Now, you might be asking yourself, how on earth do I get this heck in G? Well, you're in good hands because that is how you do it. That's how you collect K-O-N-G, baby. Put that in your back pocket. Get yourself some banana coins. Actually, kind of... Had a nice clenching of my butthole right there because I was not sure I was going to get it, but I did. Along with the final puzzle piece. Oops. The one puzzle piece that you probably will wind up missing is the one that's in that little trapdoor. It's not super clear where it is, so you just got to be mindful of it. These Benangels don't really mean anything. We've already got the Kong, so we're doing great. Also, with this one, you got to kind of jump a little early, too early completely whiff on what you're trying to do. Don't you love that? But that's okay. We got all the all the puzzle pieces on that one. No bridge pieces, unfortunately, so that's okay. So that's a level 1-4. Our trunk has been twisted. The Shrine of Zip Lines has been visited. And we, ladies and gentlemen, are one level away from unlocking the ultimate bonus level. So instead, first we will do the Busted Bayou. This is actually one of my favorite levels in the game. The aesthetic of this one is pretty cool. The background of the loading screen is kind of a little teaser on what you're going to see. We are backlit, ladies and gentlemen. This is very nice. It's a really nice touch also that they kind of gave Donkey Kong, Dixie, Cranky, their own aesthetic on the lighting scheme. I think that's really nice, cool touch. In this case, obviously, you can see that Dixie has got her hat and her shirt lit up. That's pretty cool. Diddy, I believe, has his hat and his shirt as well. And then Cranky, I don't remember. It's yellow. I know that. It's a yellow. Okay. So there's going to be... A, a new gimmick in this beginning part of this level. The introduction of these kind of vines that are... You can kind of stick and pull them. And when you do, when you pull on them nice and hard, nice and hard, it unveils a platform, which is nice. Also, there are weighted platforms, kind of like a bit of a scale. So use those to your advantage. You can bounce up and down. Hold on to that vine. I have no idea where it wanted me to go, but I uh, I feel good about it. Potentially something up above here. 
Huh? Let's give that another peek. I feel like I'm missing something. Hold on a second. Perhaps there's something over here? There is! A puzzle piece. So, make sure you head up there. This one's a little sneaky sneaky. You gotta kind of be careful with this one. Especially as I run into stuff. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm just being a ding dong. You have to be a little careful and make sure you explore around. Things aren't gonna be quite as clear cut. You might find yourself looking for bonuses that are kind of hiding in the shadows a little bit. So let's be mindful of that. You want to collect them all, of course. There's a life down there. You're gonna definitely want to get that. Get a life, of course. This game definitely is very generous with the banana coins, the bananas, the lives. So it does give you a pretty fair shake, I would say. I don't know if there's anything down there. I think that's just set design. It looks like it. Great. As you can see right there, we have another letter popping up. So we'll need to quickly board these platforms, grab ourselves the oh, oh, oh. This game makes me go oh, 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 because I'm bad at it. But yes, this game, for as not good at this game, I would say that I am. Still definitely my favorite of the Donkey Kong countries. Some people might be a little dissatisfied with that opinion because it's not one of the original three, I understand that. But it's still very near and dear to my heart. It's very fun. And they did a great job with it. So who wouldn't love that? Who wouldn't love a really well-made game? Speaking of which, things that are well-made, this is kind of a cool little secret. Pull the leaves away until they line up like a a nice star. Get yourself a puzzle piece. This one has nine puzzle pieces in it. So you'll have to do quite a bit of exploring. Some spelunking, perhaps. Just make sure you're going everywhere you possibly can. Because there's going to be those little drop-down vines that gives you a nice amount of puzzle pieces, of course. Just be kind of looking on everywhere for all the things you can. I'm going to stick with Dixie. Grab the DK barrel, or in this case, the DX barrel, the Lynx Awakening DX barrel. It's very handy. I was running low on life, because I'm a ding dong, and I have no self-preservation. So you might be seeing this platform here and thinking, how do I get up that gosh dang beanstalk? How do I get to the tip of that shaft? Well, that's how you do it. You're welcome. We have the McDonald's Fry Guys. Please don't sue me, McDonald's. Those used to be a thing. Remember that when McDonald's had mascots? The old, uh, Ronaldo Mc McDonald McDonaldo, that's really hard to say. You get the idea. Another barrel to bail us out, because I am not being very careful. Not quite Super Nintendo Sunday's level of, uh, lacking self-preservation. Not quite that bad, but still pretty bad. All right, so here you go. You're going to want to bounce all the way down. Doing so. Gets you another puzzle piece. We're getting very close to the end here, ladies and gentlemen. This level is fantastic. It just looks good. So here you go. Here's a bit of a collect-a-thon. You gotta get all the bananas before they evaporate into the void. We have done it. That is the final puzzle piece. It was actually kind of scary for me. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it, but I did just for you guys. That's quality. Here's another banana coin if you're into that. Then blast away to the final platform here. This is awesome. We've gotten all the puzzle pieces right. Yes. We're just missing that KKK. Or, or not. Maybe not. So pulling down that platform, you gotta be careful. It does spawn two fry guys. I don't actually know if there's a special specific name for them. But I don't care, because I'm going to use their corpses to create platforms again, if I could get up here. And I'll just take what I can get. It's the cleanest recording I've gotten of this so far, so I'm going to take it. No replays necessary. All the puzzle pieces of this land that we could have potentially gotten so far. We're only missing one. That was great. So completion, 
and collection of all the levels with all the Kong letters. And that's us. The ultimate challenge. The 1K. The Swinger Flinger. So for all you swingers out there... Anyway, we'll come and do this next time along with the final boss and a wrap up of World 1. So thanks for watching everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.